children today we are going to start the fourth lesson that is along with motion along with motion that means in this lesson we are going to study about movement children first of all there is a question that is which are the objects on the earth that do not move can you tell what are the objects on the earth that do not move so here a teacher asked this question to the class and the children started answering like buildings rocks mountains table chair like this the children started answering but they were surprised when the teacher remarked that all these objects are constantly in motion great speed yes all the objects in the earth are moving there are no objects in the earth that does not move all objects in the earth will move so all the objects in the earth are moving now here you can see a picture what picture is this yes this is the picture of a solar system here you can see sun and eight planets isn't it together sun and eight planets are known as the solar system so we know that all the planets in the solar system move around the sun so earth is also a planet that move around the sun so do you, so can you tell what are the different motions of earth yes the earth rotates on its own axis and also it revolves around the sun so these are the two types of motion of earth that is it rotates on its own axis and it revolves around the sun so here you can write the answer Rot earth rotates on its own axis and also revolves around the sun next question which are the objects that move along with the earth when it moves so which are the objects that move along with the earth when it moves all the objects in earth are moving when the earth is moving and next question can you be in a state of rest at least for a second can you be in a state of rest at least for a second no it is impossible for being in state of rest at least for a second because we already told that earth is rotating on its own axis and also it is revolving around the sun no, uh, now we will check what is how the earth rotates and revolves the earth rotates about its axis at an approximate speed of 1667 km per hour at the equatorial region so the rotation on of earth about its own axis is 1667 km per hour and it revolves around the sun with a speed of 16000 km per hour so this is the two types of motion of earth so now we will study about the motion of earth next we will check if any motion takes place inside our body see children when you place your hands at your chest you can feel a movement there isn't it what movement is there yes we can feel our heart beat our heart is beating that is a kind of movement like that different movements takes place inside our body can you tell what are such movements yes blood circulation breathing process digestion like that different movements are taking place inside our body and different kinds of movement are happening around us when we wave a piece of paper we feel the motion of air isn't it children like that can you tell any other instances when you have experienced the motion of air that means you have experienced the movement of air so one example is given there that is while sitting on a seashore yes while sitting on a seashore we can feel the air isn't it and then one that is already given in the textbook that is weaving a piece of paper that also we can feel the motion of air and then when we look at the sky we can see the clouds moving that is due to air isn't it that is also an ex example for motion of air so these are some instances when where we have experienced the motion of air you can find out more and write there in the textbook and one more question is there what are the other types of motion that takes place around you see children when we look around you we can see a lot of motion taking place around us isn't it yes plants are moving animals are moving many machines are moving vehicles are moving and then we human beings are moving like that different kinds of motion are taking place around us so some types of motion some examples you can write there in the textbook next we will study about the relation between force and motion 
force means a push or pull on an object is called as force push or pull on an object is known as force motion means movement that we already discussed we know that there are different types of motion like fast motion or slow motion now we will check what is the reason what is the difference between this fast motion and slow motion for that some activities are there read those activities and find out the answers for the question that is given below